Kyoto 64 here. Today I'm playing Unclaimed World, which is a quite new game, which is similar in style to games like Dwarf Fortress and No Moria and Grimworld and games like that. Uh, so it's a a real-time game uh, where you don't have direct control over your group of people, uh, but can give them tasks that they will carry out themselves. So let's have a look at it. And start a new game on one of the medium-sized maps. Um, and I prefer to play on the custom difficulty because the game is actually quite difficult. I will take the start that I think is the easiest. So here we are, so we have this group of colonists and there's nothing but open ground here. Um, so the first thing we need to do is uh, just explore a bit. So you can set orders to examine these areas here, see what's there. We already found some interesting areas here. So since we are focused on farming, we are of course interested in these uh, farming spots here. But um, <coughs> before we can establish a plot, we need to adopt a so-called policy. We, we find here. But let's uh, look for a bit of food first. So if you look down here, you can see this builder here which will show you what food we have found during our examination. So it's always good to ensure a good food supply in the beginning. So we can gather this food, which is some very basic food. But the glassy creeper parts are quite useful because we can actually use these as seed when we build our farms. So let's just collect all of this and we'll speed it up a bit so it doesn't take all day. And then these guys just go about their business. And in order to prepare some food, we're going to, here we go, hit this button to see things that we can potentially build, but doesn't necessarily have the um, ingredients for. So what we want first is a campfire. This will give us some basic food production. To build this, we need firewood and stone. So we can click this pin button here to keep track of it over here and now they're having a little talk about what they want to do so basically they want yeah they want this to improve everything so down here by the trees we should be able to find some firewood Get a bit of that because we're going to need a lot of it. And maybe there's some stones here. Use stone as well. We found some more. Useful food here. And there's also a fish trap location here. But 
to build a fist trap, we need a fast. So let's wait a moment for that. So now we have the materials for the campfire. We build that over here by the camp. Meanwhile, let's look what we actually needed here. Need some shapely frames. Be possible. We look down here again. The raw materials. Shapely frames. Then it will highlight on the minimap in yellow where we can find them. And be a little hard to actually spot them on the map, but there are some here. Oh, we need a tree, but let's get a four. It's actually the Now our campfire is ready, we can start making food. We have a bit of a food that they um, brought with them. So let's make some uh, oil tubers. We have the shady paints. We can build the the fish basket. And we can also start preparing one of these farm plots, hopefully. Let's see. So we'll adopt this policy. There was only one person who disagreed. This means we can now start everything I found. And let's just get to what happened to my map that's been produced. Here we can see all the the orders that we have going, and I actually like to take cooking and put that as always high because you don't want to run out of food. I think it's always a good idea to give priority to food production. And now our basket is done, so we can start catching some fish as well. And sit up a bit. And always look at the food situation. We can just make all of these now. Now, once we start catching fish, um, we really want to smoke the fish because that's more efficient than cooking them on the, on the campfire. So, in order to do that, we need a smoke oven. Just start preparing that as well. We need sticks and dry grass starch. So, let's see where we can find that. Right here. 
get a bit of that. And sticks always by as well. And all firewood. And oh, we have some jobs again. This high priority getting protected. Can use this for food as well. So they will only eat the prepared food, so the ingredients must be eaten raw. Now we have the ingredients for the oven. Right here. Both the campfire and the oven need fuel to actually run, and currently they're using uh, firewood that they're collecting around the trees. Uh, but there's a limited supply of firewood, it doesn't actually regenerate. So eventually, we'll want to build a peat deposit over here to get more fuel. But not needed yet. So now our dots here are ready. We can actually plant something. First we need to see what we can actually plant. A slightly weird thing in this game is that the ingredients, which is also the things that you produce from the farm, also work as the uh, seed. Um, so right now the only thing we have that we can grow are these classic creeper pots, which we have one of. So we can make classic creeper pots here, and one is what we need, a seed, to uh, grow this field. It would be nice if we could find some more. So the two we are after. There should be some here somewhere. We have crystal berries. That's also something we can grow on the other farm. The most important thing though is the um, glassy creeper pots because that, uh, that will be the main source of food. And yes, our oven did. Or did we build it? No, we didn't build it. Yeah. Oh, well, we did build it. Ah, that is. <laughs> Have to keep track of everything. So, did we actually catch any fish? Probably not. Hopefully, we will later on. 
Now we have some crystal berries. Let's grow some of those as well. Now, at the moment, everyone needs to sleep out of on the ground, and that probably won't make them happy. So we should start um, building something to some shelter where they can sleep. And at the moment, the best thing we can build is this. You can see here under data, it just has a comfort level of 13. Another thing we can quite easily build is this, but it only has a comfort level of 7. But it's very easy to build, we just need daisy and leaves, which is fine here. So let's gather some of these. These. And in the long run, we want one of these. Let's put that up here. So we need spoke branches. Again, let's find that. So they come from the trees here. So we need three of them. And from the spoke branches, we'll also get the spoke leaves that we need to build the uh, spoke shingle. Find another fish spot over here. Salmon. Uh, mm. So now we can make the shrimps go front. We need to try and come so. We need the coke leaves. And we actually need a workbench also. Now there's a lot of stuff to keep track of. That we need clay and sticks. Let's see if we can find some clay. So fortunately we have some clay over here. Not a lot. But we need one. Fine. Getting any fish? Apparently not. We're running out of food. Bit of a problem. That seems to be yeah. We do have another fish trap location. Uh, one here, which we can use sticks for also. Like nice and close to the, to the camp. Now we can build the workbench. Put that down here.
Hopefully we'll catch some more fish here and start getting some proper food. Or at least we have a bit of fish here to collect it. Now we are roasting them on the, the campfire, which is not as efficient as, as uh, smoking them in the oven. But to smoke in the oven, we need six of them first. So, ah, now we can actually smoke six, roast the other three. Now we're getting some more food. And there's more farming space down here, which we can eat later. So, need our voice build. The problem that we ran out of sticks. Apparently there are some problems with accessing this area. Yep. At least now the workbench is being built. Find some more oil tubes here as well. Time we can build a couple of TPs here. At least a few people have a place to sleep. Whenever you're building something, you have to make sure that not only do you need the ingredient, you also need a primary tool, maybe a secondary tool. So there's a lot of things to keep track of all the time. Now we can finally build a shingle. Let's check on food. They're complaining about food. Make the price there. Fish now. And it should help when our farm starts producing something. So we'll be harvestable from this date, which is still a bit in the future. But at least this one, our classic creeper cut should be quite close. And now we have a lot of whipjacks we can actually hunt. Oh. Yeah, 
favorite show. Maybe we should update the guys. Make sure that is the priority. Oh, they run away. If you don't have direct control over your people, it's uh, sometimes difficult to get them to do things like punch when uh, there's a prey inside. So this time I think they all got away. It's quite attractive to kill the, the small whipjacks because we can use their skin and, and the skin is quite quite expensive so we can get a good price for it if we sell it in another city. Our dog here is trying to kill one of the whipjacks. And actually we succeeded. Got one whipjack target. Let's see hide from it. Do that. But in order to use the height for something more valuable, we need a height rack. Now that we're getting a height, let's pick one of these. And <coughs> for, the, for the smoked carbon tail here, we can actually just set it to always keep six in supply so by clicking the padlock we are saying we want that every time the supply falls below six we should start a new batch so then we will have six of them all the time at least so our spoke shingles are almost done We got a few chippies up here for a couple of people. So now we can actually use this quick ramp. And this will give a a good living space for four people. And finally, we are always also um, harvesting our glass of creeper pots. Now we can actually see we have a lot of classic creeper parts so we can start making classic porridge. We just have to make sure that we actually plant a new batch of the classic creeper parts before we use all of our of our parts because otherwise we wouldn't be able to plant again. Fortunately they sell again immediately. So let's put some of this permanently also. So we now have hopefully a good supply of food. And we got our height rack here as well. So now we should be able to take the press height and turn it into a raw height. And I think this would be a good place to stop the video. And 
then I'll continue another video later. Thank you for watching.